one, this problem has us take this graph and try to figure out the domain and the range. Remember, the domain is the set of allowable x values and range is the set of possible y values. So you can think of domain and range as being associated with the x's and the y's. So first for the domain, what are the values? What, where does the blue graph have values above the x-axis? So as you look at the graph, you can see it starts graphing, starts growing right around negative 3. And the part of the x-axis I'm shading right now is the part above which there is blue graph. So I can see that the domain starts at negative 3 and ends at 2 with open dots. So that's going to be a negative 3 starting point to a 2 ending point with open dots. But there's more graph, right? There's graph over here also that starts 3 and ends at 6. Again, only looking at the x-axis, so the orange that's going from here to here and from here to here. So that second part is going from 3 to 6, but that part's with closed dots, so we'll use brackets to represent up to and including, and then a union sign to say both of those pieces. So again, the domain is the x-coordinates that are possible, so you look at the graph, project to the x-axis, take those intervals of points. On the other hand, if we're looking at the range, the range is supposed to be along the y-axis. So I'm going to take the same philosophy, I'm going to take all those points that are on the graph, but now I'm going to project them to the y-axis. So starting from the bottom, I can see I get all the way down to negative 4, and there are points that are blue, you can see them over here to the right, all the way up to the 0, because notice 3, 0 is the last y value for that little chunk right there. So it looks like our range is going to start from the low value of negative 4 and go up to 0, but then there's more, right? There's this other little fluky part up here. So this little piece starts from here and goes up to there. And it looks like I forgot to put a label there. That looks like it's maybe 1 or something. So that top part starts at a low of 1 and goes up to a high of 4. So those are 1 and 4. And we'll use parentheses this time because notice that it's up to but not including with the open dots. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. There's the y-axis range, x-axis domain. Why don't you try this one on your own here then? We have a graph here, and assuming you paused the video and gave this your good old shot here, what would the domain be? What did we get as a domain? Well, the domain seems to start at negative 6, goes all the way over here until it hits 3, but then it starts up right away at 3 again, right? Just on the other part. So there's no hole. There's no Even though there's an open dot here, it gets filled in at that x value by the value up here at 4. So the domain actually goes all the way from negative 6 with a closed dot or bracket all the way up until 5. No need for a second interval this time because there was no place where the x-axis cut out completely. On the y-axis, what happens though? Well, y gets as low as negative 5, and then it gets as high as negative 2 here. So it looks like the range would be from a low of negative 5 to a high of negative 2. Notice the bracket on the negative 5 and the parenthesis on the negative 2. And then there's another section here that starts at 5 and goes all the way up to the top here of 4. So it would be unioning this with a closed interval that starts at 0 along the y and extends up to 4. And that's the domain and the range.